I'm sorry, but if you don't approve of my mic test, I'm going to have to Burger King ban you from my Kristen Minecraft server. I don't know how to start off these videos, but we're back here. Uh, uh, okay, um, I guess I'll just start reading again. <laughs> Alright, what's this? <clears throat> Lars, convert your magic points into homosexuality points. <laughs> the game crashes due to a parser error. That's the problem with the wizard mode. Ha. Huh. Lars, reload the game from the last time you saved. Wait. Wait, I just realized. Probably be zooming in here. So it's easier to see. Examine inventory. Cause I like looked back at my last recording and uh It was pretty hard to read. Well, you got your weapons, some potions, and some whores. Oh god. That... This is going full problem sleep, isn't it? <laughs> Are those whores really just disembodied heads, or is it a simplified image for inventory purposes? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Wear as hats. You're quite possibly the greatest pimp in existence. <laughs> Why are they still in your inventory? Porum role player appear in the next room. Oh god. Why? If it isn't your loyal Fumo Paribo fuck a crushy wall trap. <laughs> Large rage boy. Oh yeah, I forgot we're Jake English too. It's beautiful. Pat pat. Lars, go outside for some fresh air. Dungeons of Sunnydale. Next. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Oh god. Why is why is your megalovania playing? <laughs> Lars, observe outside of house. You live in an outpost with your sister located on an island, which is part of an Uh Okay, sorry, but I have no idea what this means. Archipelago. Which is part of an archipelago, a fair distance from the I Iberian Peninsula. Oh god. <laughs> Next. I had to work for this view. Lars, look at the sunrise. <laughs> oh, let me just fix this here. Fucking dead. His eyes are literally on fire. He's dead. <coughs> oh god. Dumb joke. Bad joke. <laughs> Next. Uh. Uh. Lars! Oh, Lars? Lars, I was talking to Mac. He said he was playing a game with HP. 
I was thinking that maybe, since I know you don't like HP very much, maybe you would want to play. Come on, I know how much you love your games, it'll be fun! Next. That face is beautiful. Alright, uh, what voice did I give him? Oh, hey, oh, hey, I, did, I didn't hear ya! I was going at the sun. You remember what I told you about it a while ago? The thing about your puppy? Yeah, that. But, anyway, yeah, okay, I guess I'll play with you. In a little while, though, I, get, I gotta do some stuff first. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Well, actually, that's a lie. My power is still out. Ah, well, I guess I'll leave you to whatever you're doing. Good luck with your power. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Um, I think my grandma is calling me anyway. Gotta go. Lars, explore outpost. You leave your room, Lars. Enter left room. What the hell? <laughs> you enter the kitchen and somewhat disconcertingly, your sister's arms collection and Mythbusters shrine. <laughs> Lars, snag the Mythbusters poster. You grab the Mythbusters poster in your Linux mode. The thing has enough memory, but it never really gets updates like the other mode I. <laughs> They're all fucking computer things. <laughs> oh, except that duck, duck hunt thing. Heck. Lars, look at that ladder. Observe that ladder. Oh, yeah. Just look at the ladder. It leads down to the little island you call home. So close to Atlantis, yet so far. Lars. Descend to the lowest point of the house. Dun da 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 Observe the sky and waves. The sky is bright. The, the sky is bright blue. A light breeze grazes your face as you look out upon your domain, your kingdom. A familiar note is produced. It's the one desolation plays that keeps its instrument in tune. It is a sunny September morning, and as will all pertaining it, something feels missing from your life. You have a feeling it's going to be a long day. Someone just got fucking shot. Next. You hate this island. <laughs> Lars, examine Tombstone. Ah, sweet dog first. It was much too soon. Eh, whatever. That was six years ago. You're not about to ball your eyes out over the past like some people. <laughs> they were they were only a fucking year old, but actually pretty depressing. Oh god. <laughs> Please tell me they get prototype. Even if it's going to be the complete mess that Vex Sprite was. Please. <laughs> and Lars, go back inside. Alright. Now what? Lars. Loot fridge. Alright, better my volume, I guess. <laughs> As usual. There are a bunch of guns in there. Your sister really buys food that needs to be refrigerated. Well, at least you have someone with you. <laughs> Lars, check guns for chicken firing capabilities. You doubt a chicken would be able to fit in any of these guns. <laughs> Was that a reference to that one fan adventure thing? No, what? Ah, no, what? A uh, fan adventure to that one game thing where if you cheat it makes it so you can only shoot chickens and thus making you completely worthless go back into the hall <laughs> <coughs> ah oh god examine sweet poster oh my Oh man, it's Cherry Insanity. They're probably one of the best bands ever. Lars, get poster. Starting up a collection, are we? 
Equ equip poster? It's... It's beautiful. Okay, remove poster, please. <laughs> it was never equipped in the first- Oh, oh hi, Nina. Get Amelia Plus. Oh. You love your modus. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, Nina, leave her room. I see how this works. Alright, this again. Now what? Next. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Next. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck! Next! Nina, tell your friend. <clears throat> oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, there's a fire outside my house! Oh, shit! Well, is it your house made of stone? It should be okay as long as it's not a huge fire, I think. Therein lies the problem. If you recall, my house is surrounded by a forest, so shit, what do I do? Calm down, Nina. It'll be alright, I hope. Wait! I have an idea, as always. What about that game? The supernatural one you were telling me about? What about it? Didn't you say something happened to Mackie's house? Mac's house? Yeah, I suppose so, but I have no idea where it is. For all I know, it could have just been vaporized and not responding to any of my messages. But a small chance is better than no chance at all. We need to find someone to play with. I don't have the game. Remember trashing Delhi? Del. <laughs> oh god. He he sent me my copy of the game and said he was busy, but he told me to play with Mac. He said he got it from some Eurocrat or something. I have no idea if he's available to play. Besides, he's not online. He'll probably go talk to my grandpa anyway. He probably hasn't noticed the forest on, is on fire. He's a big thick about these sort of things. Okay, if Del comes online, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Nina, view Mac. You can't, this fog or mist or whatever is in the way. Nina, find Grandpa. Another one for the collection. Oh, hi, Robotnik. You have no idea where you'd find him in this huge fucking castle. Usually you just kind of bump into him. Nina, message Lars. Oh boy. Wait, the dude that I just voice! <laughs> Fuck. I'm dumb. Hey Lars, I know you don't like Dell that much, so I'm gonna have to ask a favor of you. Uh, I can't stand him. What do you need from me? Well, you see, the forest around my house is on fire. You know Mac, right? Of course I know him, just completely disregarding the danger he's in. <laughs> okay, well, Dell sent me a game he was gonna play with Mac, but he had to leave for some reason. So, he had me play, and I don't know what happened to Matt. A meteor was about to hit his house, but his house somehow was nowhere to be found after it exploded. I don't know if I somehow saved him or what, but I can't see him on my screen now. Whoa, 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 slow down there, princess. Basically, could you ask Doe to send you a copy of the game? I have no idea what you just said, but there's no way I'm talking to Doe for you. Next. Laura's had this dumb, everlasting rivalry with Del. It's not even a rivalry anymore. Laura's is the only one who thinks Del hates him. <coughs> ah. Nina, visit the pa palace. Palace. Palace, palace, or whatever. <laughs> oh boy. Am I lagging? I'm recording, right? Good. <laughs> Next. This place always creeped you out as a kid. Is this why? It's beautiful. <laughs> Nina, caps log palace bus. No. <laughs> Nina. Still be kind of creeped out by the palace palace. What gives you that impression? Uh, can I get that? A... 
Okay. Nina, abscond the hell out of there. On it! Right, these... These faces are beautiful. I love it. Next. Okay. You might want to shush a bit there. There. The Wolfman. Next. Oh god. F. Next. <coughs> oh my god, these faces are so dumb. Nina, examine room. Uh, great. Next. What the heck? Next. It's the game's room. Turn to face a shadowy figure. What shadowy figure? Figure. Heck. Get paper under logs? Nina, would you like to play a game? Next. Oh, heck. S. Next. Oh. Wow, we what a grandpa. <laughs> Announce! Fire! <laughs> oh god, I was terrible. Abjure! What? What just happened? Oh. He was going to play chess or something. <laughs> so... Both of you can't fight. <laughs> Next. Yeah! <laughs> How many people did I kill with that cringe thing? <laughs> yes, there's a fire outside. No, I didn't start it. No, you didn't either, you old coot. Of course you don't remember. Oh, that is so ridiculous. Do you even hear what you're saying? I will be fine. This castle is perfectly safe, and it... And it and won't be for long if we don't do something. Oh, will you just stop it? I am going now. Good day. Heart. Next. Sorry, Grandpa. This skull's got to roll. Go to the dungeon. Oh, God. Next. God, you hate this place. It's filled with piles of your Grandpa's gag skeletons. <laughs> With whatever the hell that is. Open map. Alright. Gonna wanna keep that open. Big place. Proceed to the nearest question mark. Psych! You are now Lars. You were just about to open this door. What will you do? Do something that isn't opening the, the door. Oh, hell no. You are so totally opening that door. In fact, for the next page, you will only respond to the command, Open Door. Don't you dare open that door, young man. What did you just- Oh, you know, that probably isn't such a good idea anyway. Your sister's probably in there and you don't want to risk an encounter. <laughs> On second thought, open the door. No. <laughs> next. Oh fuck. It it is poor him. <laughs> Next. Oh bye. Next. The coast is clear. Move out. Oh god, okay, who are we now? Next. Mac! Yes! Peer out. You can't see anything. Please remove that nose. <laughs> Draw things on the window to see. This is so much fun! <laughs> yes, yes, more! Wait, you think you're clearing away some of the fog? Next. Is that 
water open window stick head out yes this is it you're gonna find out exactly what you are oh god damn it next a nefarious character select screen draws near choose your guy control w control w wizard mode <laughs> MSPFA reader, choose a girl on the left. It it wasn't, it was not free will, huh? I'm sad now. Ig, next. Oh hey, it's purple person. <laughs> purple palace. It, does anyone even remember that thing that came with Windows Seven computers? Probably not. A young woman stands in her bedroom. Though her house is without power, she smiles on regardless. Her name is... and her name. Jade Harley 2! Ah yes, your placronym proudly displays your name. Emmy Miller. Attempt to balance placronym on head. Wow, what a fucking waste of time! Interest, please! Your name is Emmy. You are known for your interest in the American jazz age and ragtime. Despite your foreign upbringing, you enjoy playing collectible miniature miniature games as well as ma sometimes making your own. Your room is cluttered with some of your figures. You also enjoy drawing and art, all, even though you're not the best at it. You like watching TV shows about space exploration and consider yourself a Trekkie. You also like to play the clarinet sometimes. What will you do? Check Pesterchum and or Festivum. Are you sure you want to check Gripe? <laughs> Nana? Yes, you're sure. You open up Gripe and... Oh no. Block. So, uh... What's the oh no? Next. It's her... Who next? Oh, you've lost count of how many times you blocked her. The other day it was only once or twice and they got the message, but she managed to circumvent every time you blocked her. Respond. <laughs> oh boy. Function. Hey, you. Function. Girl. Oh no. Function. Listen to me. Function, I know we have a differences. Function, but I believe it is time to make amends. What are you talking about? Why would I do that? Function, because you need to. I don't believe that for a second. Nice try, jerk. Function, wait. Function, what if I told you? Function, it is literally required. Shush, I'm not listening to you. Just stop trying. FR, try a different tactic. Function, what if I get give you a gift? No, go away, I'm still not listening to you. Endless Ocean has blocked Frigid Radiance again. <laughs> Next. You can't believe her, she always says it's trying to make up with you by sending you gifts. The gift always turns out to be some sort of computer virus. Elaborate on effects and characteristics of said viruses. You don't know, they broke your computer, you guess? Look to see if any gifts have appeared. Oh god. Play some other games instead. Good idea. Can I just wait and watch him die? Uh. There's a wall coming towards you. Run slash jump. Fair. Next. What the fuck? <laughs> Space time rewind and then press up when you reach the window. Oh, next. Wall, move away from the bit. <laughs> Go forward. You encounter a feared drow Ardois. Next. The Ardois play some demon- Summon some demonic spiders. Kill him! Kill him dead! It's too late. They kill you dead. Become the Skeleton Marauder. Oh god. 
Conscript the Ardois to your skeleton army. Well, it's more of a tribal skeleton inspired army, but whatever. Head right to grow your army. Wait a minute, this all looks very familiar. It appears you've glitched into a tutorial session of Dungeons of Sunnydale. You've done all this before, solve the whole session. Well, this is certainly different. <laughs> Next. Connection error. Next. Spike Laptop and Fury for a two time slam combo. Ow. Next. Oh my god, why would you do that? <laughs> Go inside and get the fresh air, that might calm your nerves. Besides, spice out. Oh heck. Next. Is that. Oh god damn it, phone. Alright. Next. That's freaking tiny. Next. Ooh, why is this music? Oh no. <laughs> I'm afraid to tell you that you might have not thought this out very well. <laughs> Heavy nerd breathing. Next. For some reason, you're feeling a lot better now. Must be all the fresh air. Emmy, go to the highest hill you can find. Isn't... Isn't this higher? Okay, no, it's not. Row. This dies. <laughs> Be someone else. While Emmy lets out all her sun energy, you be someone else. Examine computer. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Let's see what this is. There we go. I'm scared. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Oh. Ah, yeah, it's a hit. What is it? Land of mist and grottoes. Wowee. Oh fuck, it kicked in! Mm. Freaking nice. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy! Hi, Mac! Will he finally be relevant again? <laughs> oh my. So at this point we've... Mac has been fully introduced. Oh god, the universe. <laughs> Is this going to the freaking trolls or whatever bird thing? Avian allies? Are we going to see the avian allies? Hi 
hyperrealism. Oh. <laughs> BM Wonder. Oh, you're now the brazen wayfinder, this person. <laughs> I said <laughs> Here. You don't know what that is. Go right. Is that a fucking cross? Is this Jesus? Head through the door. This is new and exciting. Go left. Somehow, you don't think left or right makes a difference here. <laughs> Step on that raised platform in the center. Oh. Into the stars to buy candy bars. Kids got a knack for adventure. Dun dun dun. Alright. It's over. Six souls. Go out a random door and touch any red things you happen to see. You take the left door. There appears to be some machinery in here. There appears to be two pieces of machinery in the room. I guess that's it. <laughs> Wear the skull under your hat. You stash the skull under your hat for safekeeping. You never know when you'll need three skulls of varying sizes to solve a puzzle to get into a tower full of monsters. Again with the problem sleuth references, are you- Wait. You're not a car- you're not a Caribbean, are you? How do you pronounce that? You're one of the MSPA guys, aren't you? Oh, bye. <laughs> Look for some instructions on what this thing does. Well, there's this terminal for the appear fire. There's another one over there for the sendificator. Press all the buttons. It seems that whatever the buttons do has already been set. Next. A piece of stained glass appears. Next. Uh, oh my fucking god, they're important, huh? Color synergy already. We're going any further. If you haven't, you should read Dungeons of Sunnydale. It's not very long, only 250 pages, and it becomes quite relevant in hexing. So to avoid the confusion down the line, reading it now would be rot wise. Alright, thank you. <gasps> I guess... Yes, we thought now. Nah, let's make this extra long. <laughs> Dungeons of Sunnydale. Enter name. Did, I did. I, this would be a good time to freaking review this. Maybe. Maybe I should stop this. I guess I'm gonna. Stop recording for now. Next part will be Dungeons of Sunnydale, and the next time I'm reading all the way to page 600. Save. And stop. Uh, wait, actually, I should. Maze Engage. <laughs>